Now, a couple of things about about that stint with some of the decision making at uh, at, at the Sunrisers. So, obviously, getting Fizz was, was was a big thing. Then going out on a limb and getting Rashid and Nabi from from Afghanistan. <laughs> I mean, R- R- Rashid, when you got him, wasn't the Rashid Khan that we know him now. So, what is thinking behind going out and getting a Rashid and and a Nabi? Well, I was very keen to get a wrist spinner. I knew that you know that wrist spinners were clearly having an impact in the game. Um, mm-hmm. Bowlers that could spin the ball both ways, whether it be wrist spinners or whether it be um, finger spinners that have got the doosera. Um, so I spoke to um, our analyst, uh, Srini, who was very close with me um, during my stint and said to him, look domestically and look internationally and just try to find a, a number of spinners that can give us this option for us to explore. So over a period of time, we we both sort of looked and went through video after video of various options. And then I saw this rush of Khan ball. And I then t- said to Srini, keep sending videos, keep sending videos. I need to, you know, have an understanding of what this guy's doing because clearly no one else does, particularly the ones that have got the, the bat in their hand. And I, I sort of made the recommendation on the basis that one, the pace he bowled, two, the consistency he landed the yes. ball. Okay, the opposition at the time he was bowling to, you could argue was not IPL standard uh, or you know top level international standard, but what he was doing, he was doing incredibly consistently. So I felt that it was a gamble worth taking purely on the basis that the only obstacle we had to face was whether he was going to be overawed by an IPL occasion mm. and the big stage. But Rashid Khan turned out to be someone that would welcome, you know, that atmosphere and, and that pressure. And uh, the rest is history. Tell us, is, is, is there a story that, or an anecdote or an, or, or an occasion that told you this kid belongs here? Is there, was there a challenge you threw at him? Just say, you know what, I think he belongs. Yeah, I, I can probably put that down to the very first net session we had in our camp before the, the, the first season that he played. Um, there was a few question marks around whether he can bowl um, or wh- whether, you know, a, a kid from nowhere can suddenly step up and one, command the attention he did in the auction, but two, deliver on the big stage. So I got a couple of our senior players, including David Warner, uh, to face him mm. and within 20 minutes I realized we picked a gem because his level of competitiveness in that in that net scenario was to me right this kid's ready to go he, he's he, he's not worried who he's bowling to he's delivering it so consistently no one understood what he was doing they couldn't work out which way he was turning it so he just ticked every box in that first training session and he just went from strength to strength because once you get the trust and the, the, the positive vibe back from your own environment, any player that is, it's a very powerful thing, Harsha. And he, mm. he had that in 20 minutes.